All right, so as a pulmonologist, what am I looking for in terms of the physical exam? Well, I've already established from talking and observing the patient whether or not they're in respiratory distress. Now I'm gonna take out my stethoscope to try to find out why they're in respiratory distress. Sometimes this can be really helpful. Other times I need more imaging or more testing to figure it out. As I examine the patient with my stethoscope, I start by looking for symmetry. Everything I'm gonna do, I'm comparing the left to the right. So as I start with auscultation, I ask the patient to take deep breaths in through their mouth, not their nose. And I listen to the left upper, right upper, right middle, left lower, right lower. If I hear something abnormal, let's say a focal wheeze or an absence of breath sound in an area, I might do some more exam maneuvers. For example, I might percuss the patient. Percussion is when I take my fingers using flexion in the wrist, not my elbow. Notice how it's whipping my wrist and I go from left to right, up to down on the patient, and I'm, again, looking for asymmetry. Is there dullness in an area? That might suggest consolidation, like a mass or pneumonia, maybe even an effusion. If things are asymmetrical, I might home in a little more on where the abnormality is. I may do something like tactile fremitus. That's where I'll take my hands, put them on both sides of the patient's chest, and ask them to say something like blue balloons, a nice deep guttural sound. As they say that, I feel with my fingertips to see if the vibration, the tactile stimulation is the same on both sides or different. Patients that have pleural effusions will have decreases in tactile fremitus at the space of the effusion. Whereas patients that have a mass or pneumonia will have an increase in tactile fremitus. So you can see how auscultating, looking for symmetry, then doing things like percussion followed by tactile fremitus helps me take that patient who's short of breath. And now I have a reason to believe they have a pleural effusion based on my diagnostic clinical exam findings. Stay tuned to the next video. We're going to explore some more of the pulmonary exam.